jobs that the average American person, the average American can relate to. I want to ask you about your district. Sure. Because your district was drawn not for you. <laughs> uh, right. it, it was drawn very specifically to get you out of the sure. 6th Congressional District. And you've had some big, big challengers, but every year you seem to do better, every other year, you seem to do better at uh, keeping this, this job. I don't know why you want this job. I don't know why anybody <laughs> wants this job. Right. So if, if, if you told me right, Hillary Clinton won by nine percentage points in right. your district. You won by nine percentage about points. About eight and a half, right. All right, mm -hmm. so we're, we're, right. You know, that's a huge swing right. in, in, in both directions. Um, you've, you've done some interesting things. I, I think you're one of the hardest working men in show business mm. um, because you, you've got to keep it. Why is it you're elected in a district that is, is not there for you? You know, one thing I do is it is a very diverse, uh, obviously the most diverse uh, district in the state, Aurora, Colorado. Yeah, and you're a stuffy white guy. Yeah, so. a stuffy white guy. So what I do, I'm uh, doing a Spanish uh, talk radio show in Spanish uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm a weekly guest uh, on the show. Uh, and and um, I work a lot of the very close uh, relationship to a lot of the immigrant groups who tend to register as Democrats simply because they think that Republicans don't like them, that Republicans are not simply anti-illegal immigration, but they're anti-immigrant. And so my getting in there, working with them, uh, breaks that narrative, and, and it makes a big difference. We've only got about a minute left. Talk to me a little bit about the character of those immigrants in Aurora, in, in your district. You know, a lot of them remind me so much of what my ancestors sure. were. You know, they're coming here, they, they want mm -hmm. a better life. I'm not talking about the people who are here illegally, sure. and I can understand the sure. tensions, but what is the character of, of those people? Oh, they, they tend to be more faith-based than the average American. Uh, that, that their faith, uh, uh, um, their, whether it's a, it's a temple or it's a church, uh, um, or it's a mosque tends to be the center of their community, the center of their life. Uh, they they do tend to be hardworking. They're they're you know very aspirational to the American for the American dream and believe strongly uh, in the education of their children. So if if they were not playing identity politics, would they be Republicans? Absolutely. I mean, I, I think the, the vast majority would. And that's what's so strange about this particular equation. But it creates a, a great opportunity for me. Mike, always good seeing you. Good seeing you. Stay tuned.